One of the biggest differences users need to get used to when they move from a traditional file share, like a Windows network share, to SharePoint is how we share files with others, how we send somebody else information that we'd like them to have. When we're working in Windows and want to send somebody a document, we normally just attach it. Even if they have access to that location and we could send a link, we don't. We attach documents. And what that means is if I have a document and I need to share it with four of you, I send it to you and then we have five copies. Well, actually, we already have six because we have the original. There's then a copy in my sent items folder and each of the four of you have one as well. But if you're going to work on it, you're probably going to turn around and save it in a file share someplace. And so now it's back in Windows someplace else. And now instead of having six copies, we have 10 copies and we're working on them together. And we begin to wonder, first of all, which is the real copy? The right answer to that is always, of course, mine. The one I've invested time in is the real copy. Everything else is what you all were wasting your time on. And the proliferation of documents in inboxes and in network drives and requiring me to manage my inbox because I have all these attachments, all of that can go away pretty quickly and easily when you start using SharePoint as one of your major document repositories. Because when I want to share a document with somebody, I'm never going to send them the document. I'm simply going to send them a link as long as they are an internal user who has access to this site. So if I wanted to send this to Gerald, for example, I can click right here and I can say, I'd like to share this. And I can actually say, I want to share it with Gerald. It'll go find her. There we go. And I could include a personal message. I don't need to, but I can do that. And I can say, please make any changes by Tuesday so we can discuss this at Wednesday's meeting. The options here are to send an email invitation, and it's already turned on. So you should know that that's going to happen. And I also have the ability to say, you know, I'm just going to give her a view-only copy. I want to see what this email is going to look like, so I'm going to send this to myself as well, just so we can easily take a look at what Gerald's going to get. I'm going to go ahead and click Share. Notice that this document is shared with the two of us. And if I go to Outlook, so here we go. Ginny Quarter has shared Black Box Project, and this is exactly what Gerald will get as well. So very easily, she can click right here and go back to the document. I'll show you that in a minute. Or she can follow the document to get updated about it in her social networking news feed area, which we're going to talk about pretty quickly in this course. So let's say she wants to edit the document. She can just click, and it opens automatically right here in the Word web app. And if she wishes, she can edit it here, or she can edit it in Word, either one. That's how easy it is to send somebody a link to a document rather than the document itself. Let me tell you another reason this is so powerful. Often I'm sharing documents with people who aren't even in my time zone. They may be in other countries. And if I send them a link late on a Friday, they may not get it until Monday or Tuesday. If I've attached a document, they're getting an old document. All the rest of us have moved on. We're already editing a document. And if they start by reviewing the document that's in front of them, it may have changed substantially before they get in hours after we start on Monday morning. So the reason that I love being able to send links is I always know that I'm sending somebody a link to the fresh version of the document and they can jump right in and start editing and they'll see any changes that I've made, any changes anyone else has made. I don't need to manage my inbox as much or my sent items folder because I'm not sending entire attached documents. I'm simply sending links. So any time that you've gone back and needed to remove documents out of sent items to save some space in your inbox, that time's gone. You don't need to do that any longer. So being able to share documents internally, this is the very, very best way to do it. If you need to share documents with folks who aren't on your team or who are not inside your organization, we'll see that next. Sometimes I want to share an entire library with somebody. I don't simply want to show them one document. I want to direct their attention to a new library that we've placed on a site. Let me show you how that works. It's very similar. I'm just going to go back to our team site sideways like that. That's cool. And go to documents. And I'm in my library. I can send a link to any individual document as you just saw. But I can also go to library and I can say, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to email a link to the whole library. And once Outlook opens, it will open up a message form right here so that we can address this and send this link to this library 
to someone else who already has access to our site, who has permission to come in here and either view or edit or who might be a site owner. So we just add people as you would add somebody to any email message. If I want, I can add a little text in front of this. Nice trick from Word is Control Home Home. Takes me to the start of this. Message text, and I can simply say, we've moved the documents from our network share to this SharePoint library on our site. So then I could address this, and I could simply send it. We'd be sending a link to somebody. I'll just send it to myself. Let's check names. It should find me. I'm just going to go ahead and send this, just like that. So this is how we send files in SharePoint, as links rather than attachments. And in doing so, we get rid of three problems all at once. One is multiple copies of documents that take up space every place in Exchange. My Send Items folder and inbox, your inbox and Send Items folder. The second is we remove the ambiguity around which of these many copies we have is the one we should be working with. Where is our source of truth? We can always say it's this document right here in SharePoint. Thirdly, when somebody opens that link, they're getting the freshest version of the document possible, not a document that was attached as a copy a week ago when the message was sent or even 24 hours ago, but whatever the current true document is here in our SharePoint library.